Here's how to classify what you need in your electronics project. Number one, what are you measuring? This could be anything you are looking for. Even if you're gonna make a robot arm move, you will wanna measure the incoming instructions and the rotation of each joint. There's so many different forms of sensors you could use. Here are just a couple. Try using the simplest sensor you can to not get bogged down by too much information. Number two, what kind of information is being measured? This can be dumbed down to whether it is analog or digital. Analog being things like audio, light levels, or distance over time. Number three, at what rate is the information needed to be measured? For a hobbyist project, it is pretty easy to have a measurement taken below a gigahertz. If you'd like to measure any faster, then you are in for a much harder problem. If you need to measure at a rate lower than 100 measurements per second, you could use any crappy microcontroller you can get your hands on. Number four, is this information being measured from nearby or from a remote location? This can make a simple problem a lot more complicated. A remote project may need batteries, a way to get power, and a transmitter or receiver. For small, low power projects, you can get away with a lot as long as you aren't leaving it out on its own for too long. Just store the information locally and download the information off of it. For longer distances, you may want to look into wireless communications like like the NRF is a type of short distance communication within a kilometer. You can use LoRa for pretty low power, medium distance communication up to 10 kilometers. And for much longer distances like across the globe, you're gonna to wanna to look into ways of connecting to the internet. Number five, the last and most important piece of information you need to think about is the environment your electronics will be undergoing. Semiconductors can drastically change characteristics based on temperature. Humidity can affect sensor readouts. Radiation can ravage components on satellites. You really need to know the characteristics of the environment that your project is in, or else you're gonna be going through through issues you could have never expected. Please let me know if you can think of any other forms of classifications or if my classifications are unnecessary.